Welcome to Play on Words, a theatrical podcast. Please turn off all outside distractions so as not to disturb the performance. Tonight's production is the third place winner of the Play on Your Words playwriting contest. Here is The Perfect Family by Marcus Gorman. For the best audio experience, we recommend using headphones for tonight's performance. Perfect family. The, the perfect, perfect family. family. Perfect in every way. Or so I thought. Mind your tongue, young one. Until I noticed things were terribly wrong. Nothing was wrong. You're just stupid. Am not. Are too. Perfection is an illusion. And illusions are dreams, but on the outside instead of the inside. Death is an illusion. You said it. Death is impermanent. Imperma what? Impermanent. Impalumalu. Everything looked good on paper. I'm the treasurer of our local community service organization. I'm a proud member of the PTA and run our annual bake sale. I'm the best hitter on my Little League baseball team. I'm a straight-A student. One day, my father's organization put together a fundraiser. The money was supposed to go to the children's cancer ward at the local hospital. But then I found cell phone photos and footage of what actually happened. Turns out the money was paying for a weekend in Branson, Missouri. The best food, the best hotel, the best shows. The best women. Oh, honey! Hundreds of thousands of dollars ripped away from our community's neediest people. I can't believe I trusted him. If he was doing this, what else was he capable of? I didn't know what to do, so I called the police. The police always know what to do. But the police, they laughed at me. Why would I accuse an upstanding citizen of such a baseless crime? There's no way my father, their bowling buddy, their poker buddy, their fantasy football buddy, would ever do such a thing to the community. They told me to stop making up lies about my father and then hung up on me. So I sucked it up and confronted my father in the garage where he was building a shed for his zero-turn riding lawnmower. I denied what happened. I showed him the evidence. I yelled at her. I yelled back. I raised my hand to her. I kicked him in the stomach. He fell back into the table saw. It split my head open like a watermelon. I love watermelon. Watermelon? Yum! Blood gushed out onto the cement and under the tires of my dad's Chevrolet Tahoe. I love that car. And out through the side door into the garden. Blood meal makes wonderful fertilizer. Look at those tomatoes! Tomatoes? Yum! I covered him in a tarp to give me enough time to think about what to do. After a sleepless night, I hadn't figured out my next course of action. But when I came down to breakfast, there he was. My father, at the kitchen table with mom and my kid sibling, eating scrambled eggs, bacon, and toast. Occasionally, he'd pick up the napkin and dab at his gaping head wound. Hi, honey. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why do you ask? Mom, are you seeing this? What? Dad's new haircut? I love it. He looks so handsome. I think it looks cool. But I... You should get moving, or you'll be late for the bus. Oh boy, school! As we waited for the bus, my sibling turned to me. I know what you did. You can't stop it. I can't stop what? As the school bus turned the corner and headed toward us, they winked at me and pushed me into the street. I reached out and grabbed their arm, pulling them with me. I just barely cleared the bus's path. I did not. The bus hit my sibling and crushed them underneath its wheels. I stepped onto the bus and we got moving. But then I noticed all the kids piling up and looking out the back window. 
I join them to see my sibling flat as a pancake running to catch up with us. Wait for me! The bus driver pulled over and let them in. The other children cheered, complimenting them on their new appearance. They nicknamed them Pancake Kid. became the most popular kid at school. As for mom, later that day, I discovered her in the kitchen, sneaking arsenic into a batch of brownies. I called her out. Oh, don't worry, honey. Those aren't for you. Those are for the poor kids at the school across town. When they ask for one, I give them one from this tray. How do you know which kids are the poor kids? (laughs) Don't be so naive, honey. I gutted her with the immersion blender. This time, it was no accident. And then, wouldn't you know it, she kept on with her day as if nothing had happened. The only thing she was mad about was that she'd never be able to wear a bikini again thanks to the gaping wound in her torso. Since then, I've tried again and again to remove my family. She drove us off a cliff. And drowned us in the river. And fed us to lions at the zoo. Rawr. She threw us off a building. And sank us in a vat full of acid. And blew us up. Kaboom! But they kept coming back. Can't keep a good family down. Can't get rid of us that easy. Nuh-uh. I tried to leave, but where would I go? What would I do? And where would I get the money? You'd be a sitting duck out there in the real world. Ripe for the picking. I bet you'd get kidnapped. If I can't kill them, and I can't leave them, what am I supposed to do? Stay with us. Please. We miss you. We miss you. you. But as long as you live under my roof, you follow my rules. Listen to your father. Listen to dad. I love you, honey. I love you, honey. I love you, sister. Don't you want to say it back? No. Be nice. Say I love you. I won't. I love love you. you. I love love you. you. I love you. you. Let me go. Say it. I love you. We We love love you too. too. This has been The Perfect Family by Marcus Gorman. Directed by Mackenzie L. Martin. Sound designed by Anthony Del Grosso, Bree Small, and Loon. Stage managed by Soren Deniz. Assistant stage managed by Dolan G. Halkius and Melina Shuley. Featuring the voices of Ella Mazera as Teenage Girl. Max Kasparik as Sibling. Mackenzie L. Martin as Mom. James Marr as Dad. To read the winning scripts of the Play on Your Words playwriting contest, go to www.playonwordspodcast.com. Play on Words is produced by Soren Deniz with technical direction by Mackenzie L. Martin. Thank you for listening and for continuing to support the arts. Good show, everybody. Good show.